Hi guys, I'll be doing another haul today because I recently stopped by Brandy Melville and H&M and I picked up a few things, surprise surprise. This time around I'm gonna do a try on haul because I personally like to see how the garments look on people and because I am a plus size girl it is sometimes hard for me to find um, clothes that have a really nice fit so try on hauls are very helpful to me and hopefully mine will be helpful to some of you but if you're just watching this video for fun that's great as well i'll start with brandy melville where i picked up two pieces of jewelry the first one was this ring which i think looks really pretty and dainty and as you know i love knuckle rings and i thought that this one would be a great addition to my collection I'm not exactly sure how much it was because there's no price written on here, but I think it was about four pounds. Next was uh, this necklace, which was eight pounds, and I just bought it to layer it with my other necklaces. I think it looks really cool, and I'm sure I'll wear it a lot with like my basic clothing pieces because um, it will make them look a little more interesting and edgy. Since I'm already talking about jewelry, I'll just show you the jewelry item that I picked up at H&M. This was four pounds and it's just like a little um, silver set of necklaces and I decided to pick it up because I actually don't really have any silver jewelry. I only have gold jewelry because I think it suits me better but sometimes I would love to wear silver because some of my clothing has silver detailing and um, yeah that's why I picked it up. And I also really like this particular like pedant necklace. I don't know I just think it looks really pretty and yeah, moving on to clothing, everything is from H&M from now on. I decided to pick up a bra, um, a white bra because I only have one and um, it always seems to be in the washing machine when I need one. So um, I decided to pick up another one. I've been debating whether or not to go even search for one. <laughs> because I only wear one brand of bras, um, it's called Skinny. I do that because I know my size and I never have to try them on, so I just, you know, go to the store, pick up my size and leave. <laughs> and also I did try some H&M bras before and they were really uncomfortable, so I never bought them and I always kind of avoided buying cheaper bras. But here in London, I don't think they sell skinny bras anywhere, so I needed to find an alternative and I just decided to go to H&M because it's the cheapest. And I'm actually quite pleased with this bra. It's not the most comfortable one because it has this like hard extension, but I think that's because you can also wear it as a strapless bra um, because it has removable straps. And yeah, I guess I'll just have to live with it, but... <laughs> Um, I did actually pick it up also because it can be a strapless bra, so, you know, I can't really complain. Um, I did buy some over-the-shoulder, no, I actually bought one over-the-shoulder top, which I already showed you in one of my vlogs from New Look. Um, and I don't have any strapless bra, so I think this one will be great to wear under that top. But yeah, I mainly bought it because I needed a white bra and this one just looked um, the nicest and it also fit me, so... Um, yeah, I guess I'll be buying H&M um, bras from now on, <laughs> but in case you're wondering, it was £13. Next is a dress that I really, really like, but probably won't wear in London because it's very summery and looks like something you would wear on the beach. It's also quite sheer, but I did decide to pick it up just because it is such a, like, nice lightweight piece and I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of it in like years to come because it's just like a basic piece of clothing um, that I can take with me whenever I go on like a beach type of holiday. This is how it looks like, it has straps and it's very like flowy and white and it also has this lovely detailing on the top. Um, I don't know, I really really like it and it was... 30 pounds, which is definitely not cheap, but as I have said, it is quite basic and I feel like I'll be getting a lot of use out of it at some point. Next I have a top, which is grey, surprise surprise. I obviously can't get tired of grey, but it has a bit of a twist. It has lots of tassels on the sleeves and um, in the bottom and I think it just looks ridiculously cute. And it just adds a bit of a twist to otherwise a basic outfit. And I don't know, I just really like it. And it is also very soft, so it feels 
comfortable and light to wear and yeah I'm quite pleased with it it was 13 pounds then I have a dress I'm not too sure about I do like the pattern and the idea of it. it looks like a dress that you can dress up and wear to like work or something like that but um, I feel like the bust is a little bit too big on me and it makes me look really weird so I do think I'll be taking it back but um, yeah this is how it looks like this is the pattern up close and it was 25 pounds so not the cheapest and yeah I think I'll be taking it back and lastly I have a dress you might recognize well you won't recognize this particular dress but I have one in another color in like a white with uh, black stripes which got ruined you'll know that if you watch my vlogs I'm still very sad about it and I hope my dad can figure out how to get the stain out because I'll have my sister take it back home when she comes to visit me um, but yeah I'm still hoping that you know the stain will get out but in the meantime I decided to pick up um, the same dress in another color it's navy and has white stripes <laughs> Um, you know, which also is very nice and works and again, I love the quality the material is like very thick and stretchy and I love how it looks on me like I like the shape of it I love that it has pockets which are kind of my security blanket, I guess and I don't know, it's just nice and it's that kind of dress that you can um, dress up or down so um, yeah, I decided to get another one <laughs> This one, by the way, was 20 pounds. But yeah, that's it for my haul. It was shorter than usual, but I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos from me. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye!